there are some great uses for LiDAR in architecture and design. I'll be looking at using the built-in LiDAR scanner on the iPhone Pro and the free app iRhino 3D to instantly convert the scans into a segmented and layered 3D model. As you move around, the app processes it into clean geometry on the phone, so no messy geometry, distortions or point clouds. This can be then simply downloaded with all these layers and with the dimensions to use for your design work and drawings. This model can even be taken a step further to be 3D printed or used for augmented reality. There are quite a few scanning apps out there, but I'll be using iRhino 3D, as I found this one the easiest to use and produces the cleanest models without the unnecessary details cluttering the rooms. iRhino 3D essentially is a 3DM viewer for iOS, which lets you present your work on the iPhone or iPad, but it comes with a range of other useful design features. So once you have installed the app on your iPhone, UI is very intuitive. So as you can see, all you need to do is select Scanner Room, as you may have guessed, and you are then prompted to start scanning at the edge of the wall. And quite simply, you move around the room slowly and you will see these white wireframe lines appearing, boxing out the room and furniture. Since the app only focuses on the shape of the room and the mass of the furniture, it will ignore the clutter, small objects, and family pets like you can see here. So it's great that you don't have to do much cleanup beforehand. What is great about the app is you can see this mini model at the bottom, showing how it is built up as you move around, which also follows the orientation of your camera. Just make sure the wireframe on your screen covers all the corners of the room, and that there are no gaps in the 3D model preview. I scanned here both the office room and the entrance hall to see how well the app combines multiple spaces. I scan the spaces top to bottom, focus out on the walls and ceiling, and then the furniture, but you can go over the spaces until they're all covered in this white wireframe. And once your 3D model preview is complete at the bottom, you can finish the scanning and it will briefly process the scan into a segmented model. This can be viewed instantly on the app with the main dimensions automatically applied. So you can spin around in this perspective view and it looks quite accurate from here. I'll just save the .3dm file so I can download it and take a better look later. But also just to show you, you can have an instant plan generated from the scan which is quite impressive without having to do anything. And once you have finished your scanning, you can download these files and see that they are native .3dm files. So you can drag and drop them into your Rhino 3D software on the desktop. I'm using Rhino 8 Beta, but feel free to use whichever version you like. And if I expand the perspective, you can see the geometry, dimensions and furniture come in. What's amazing to see is that all these layers are also sorted out, so your furniture are in the correct categories. Here the chair, sofa, storage and table are all identified. And if I take a closer look in the model, you can see that the tables are in the correct position along with the chair and the sofa, and the one cupboard here seems to be invented, so just that needs to be deleted. In relation to the walls, it's all looking good, except for this one wall, which was hidden by the cupboard, but that can be easily filled in. The window base shape and size is correct, which is quite remarkable seeing how I only briefly scanned the interior. The window still hides and windows are correct, which can be confirmed here by these nice annotations which are automatically added. So 900mm is the right size for the window here. And if you go to the top view and shaded view, you can easily see how these drawings can be processed from this and designs be added that can continue on. You see here maybe only the stairs are a bit wonky, but this may be because of the banister. But all in all, you can see how this is an amazing tool for informing your interior designs and using this as a base site model for your design workflow. This could also be combined with other features such as augmented reality on the app. I will just take this one step further and show you how you can prepare a clean closed mesh to 3D print this. I will just turn off all the furniture and have to fill in one of these walls since nothing is ever perfect. So I will just copy this piece and rotate it and then just to scale it out a bit to fit. 
so that it approximately creates this recess where the cupboard was sitting. Now we can select all the geometry. Rhino 8 has this handy new command called shrink wrap. So if I type this command in the command line, and in the settings, I'll just keep the target edge width at 0.01 to make it a tight wrap. I keep the rest of the settings the same. And then you have this closed clean mesh of the room and the entrance hall, including all the openings for the doors and windows. If I move this up, you can see how easy it is to make an accurate 3D room model, which you can scale in 3D print. For small scale interiors, this works great for concept design work where you don't need to the millimeter accuracy, but general forms. I encourage you to try out this powerful features for yourself and perhaps incorporate it into your own design workloads.